sun and fun. We're going to look over a trike that, uh, well, if you don't, if you aren't grabbed by the paint job, then you're asleep. But there's more to it than the fancy paint job. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Mike Tiki. And Mike, uh, what have you done here to, first of all, which trike of yours is this? And then you can tell me what things you've changed on it. Uh, this is my ultralight trike. And I have a Rotax 447 engine on it. Um, an electric start gear, uh, gearbox, so an e-gearbox. Um, this past winter I revamped the whole front part of it. Uh, I reconstructed the seat and the side frames. I made the seat wider. I made the pod here four inches wider and I brought it back six inches. And now you're talking back this way six yeah. inches down here where I'm looking? Yeah, so now it's underneath the seat. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, before it kind of stopped here yes. and then some stuff could kind of blow through then, right? It could, yes. But it's quite a bit wider. And I see, uh, the camera can't see it yet, but we'll look in a minute, that th you got a lot more room for instrumentation here. Exactly. Yes. So what all have you installed here for us? Well, I've got most of the flying gauges that you need. I've got an altimeter, a vertical speed, an RPM gauge, an airspeed gauge, dual cylinder head temperature, a dual exhaust gas temperature gauge. And I've then got you got a, a swivel mount <clears throat> down here where you can put something more, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, Air map 1000 goes there. Okay. I got the compass here. You don't really need it because of the air map, but it looks good. It looks good, right? Yeah. I was going to say it looks really good. Who cares if you don't need it? It's okay. a lot better than the one dozen my old Cessna did. Now we do uh, all this airbrushing in house. Do you really? Yes. So what kind of work does it take to make a paint job like that? I feel like I can stick my hand down in it. It's, I know it. It's that kind of depth to it. It takes a real fireman to paint flames. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fireman, is he? Yes, yeah, full-time fireman. Okay, and he uh, and because those guys have a lot of time on their hands, <laughs> he can do airbrushing as well. Yes. I assume this is airbrushing. It is. Yes. Okay. It's uh, 15 different paints involved in painting this. Color. Is that right? Wow. Yes. How many hours does it take now? You don't just have the nose pot here. This is carried through on the engine, yes. carried through on the VRS parachute container, carried through on the wheel pants. I mean, you didn't miss a trick on it. How much, how much time is involved just painting? It, it was quite involved. First, you got to prep everything really nice so it, like you're not going to have any flaws or anything in it. Um, a big process. I got to give him like three or four weeks anyway for him to paint all this. Is that There's so right? many steps involved in it. So you're bringing all the component parts to him and yes. he's doing it uh -huh. in his shop or home or whatever, huh? Yes. Not to mention he's my father-in-law. Well, there's that so too. it's so. all in the family. All right. Very good. Very good. It's funny how that works. Anyway. So this, this thing that I'm sitting in here that's so dressed up, you've always sold a lot of Part 103 aircraft, Mike. I don't want to put you on the spot, but does this one make 103 as well? Yes, that's correct. All right. Yes. So you're continuing that. and. And you've had quite a run with these 103 airplanes. I have. Uh, how many have you got out there flying? Uh, there's probably like 460 right now. And how many years you've been doing this? Uh, going on 20 right now. Coming on the 20th anniversary, are you? Yes, uh -huh. All right. So, you know, do the math there, folks. Uh, that's quite a few aircraft every year, pretty steady. Yes. Are you remaining busy that way? Do you see things go up or down, or how's business, uh, basically? Getting better. I have three on order right now when I get back, so okay. that I've been building all winter. So just continually, everybody loves them. They go to the web page and they can see what the work I do, and they really like it. Well, and I imagine you get some notoriety because uh, uh, when we first came up and asked you, you said I believe the number was eight years in a row you've won an award here at Sunfun. Yes. If I have good fortune this year, it'd be the ninth year in a row. Wow. So that I mean that's fairly amazing. I don't know how. You have to keep upping your game every year, and I'm, <laughs> I'm right. imagining that this... Now, those these fellows that come around here and inspect these things, I mean, they are detailed. You can't just have a pretty paint job, no. but a pretty paint job is surely going to help. So, good luck with that. I hope you get number nine. Nine yeah, in you. a row. That's yes. And that's half the time you've been building these things, so that's, yes. pretty, uh, that's a pretty amazing fact. So, do you, do you offer kits? Do you fully build? What's your business? I'm fully built right now, and I sell a lot of used trikes. Uh, that people want to trade the sky cycle in if they're moving up the ladder to two seat trike so uh, there's a market there too to, to to work with now you were based at one of my old favorite airports when i used to live in tennessee are you still at jasper still at jasper tennessee airport all right that's uh, i used to do a lot of flying there myself back when trikes were in fact it was so long ago you weren't even in business then 
Uh, you were probably around then, surely, yeah. but uh, uh, there was no sky. So there was a sky cycle, but even that came later. But we did trikes out there as well, and it's just a great little airport, but in a very picturesque location. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful uh, there. Uh, with mountains and water, and uh, it's a pretty place. So it's great that you've gotten so well established there. You have to be one of the uh, solid businesses yes. at the Jasper Airport in Tennessee. This is just uh, north and slightly west of Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, so uh, back to the, uh, the, this airplane makes 103 here. That's really great because it's really quite, God, it's got everything you want on it, including, I love electric start because uh, pull starting an airplane in flight or something is uh, challenging. Yes. Uh, and you've got a VRS parachute on here as well. Yes, I have a 500 pound canister on it. Okay, and that's got the same uh, a treatment, so you really did the job with the paint all over it. Uh, but in addition to making these nice airplanes, you, you do training, is that right? Yes, full-time training program. Okay, and, and, and how active are you at doing that? Well, I got all of May booked up so far, and half the month of June is booked already. Wow, well that sounds good. How do you do the training? Do you have two-seater? Yes. Okay. I have a Northwing Apache Light Sport two-seat trike that yeah, I train I with. Okay, and I believe you use Northwing wings on your trike. Yes. So, so you're kind of the carriage maker. Yep. And you get wings from our friend Cameron Blevin yes. there in North Wings, and you've got one of his trikes, and that's how you do training. Yes. Well, that's great. So you got a full package for people if they come and go, wow, it's pretty, but gee, I don't know anything about flying these things. you got the answer for them there, too. Yes, I do. Well, uh, people are going to want to know more, and I want to tell people that, look, you better get in line soon, because it sounds like Mike is busy, and if you want an aircraft to fly during the summer, Better call soon. How do we find you on the web so they can do that, Mike? Well, I'm at flyhardtrikes.com. All right, very good. You can find lots more about Mike's trikes, about other kinds of trikes, about fixed wings of all sort, and all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Mike Tiki here and myself at Sun and Fun.